Japanese shipyard Mitsui ENS in Okoyama launched on November 19th a new type of frigate for the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, known as 30FFM. The vessel is named after the Kumano River in the key peninsula of central Japan. The shipyard will now proceed to the fitting out stage of the frigate ahead of its delivery set for 2021. Kumano is actually the second vessel of the series. The first-in-class ship is still under construction at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Nagasaki. For the record, MHI won a contract for the Japanese MOD in August 2018 for the production of the first two frigates. Mitsui ENS received a subcontracting order from MHI for the construction of the second frigate. Kumano is the company's 2050th ship. Taking a close look at Japan's latest frigate, Naval News can tell that stealth was a key requirement of the design and was pushed to the limit with some very sleek and modern lines. 30 FFM will act as a UUV and a USV mothership, but all the launch and recovery systems are hidden inside its main structure, behind large doors which are flush with the hull. Likewise, most of the sensors will be integrated on the mast to minimize the radar cross-section. 30 FFM will have a relatively limited weapons fit, which is similar to some of Europe's latest surface combatants such as the UK's Type 31, Germany's F-125, or Italy's PPA Light. According to MHI, the 30 FFM frigate will have a full load displacement of about 5,500 tons with a length of 132 meters and a beam of 16 meters. It will have a maximum speed in excess of 30 knots. The crew complement will be quite low at about 90 sailors, indicating a high level of automation on board. For more details about the 30 FFM, here's an interview which Naval News recorded last year during the Sea Airspace Defense Show with Atsui Yoshioka, Senior Project Manager of the Next Generation Surface Ship Project at MHI. What is this uh, new project? Uh, this is a uh, Japanese Navy's uh, JMS uh, new frigate project uh, started uh, two years ago. This is our prototype uh, model proposed to our Navy. Is the design finalized and are you starting to build it already? Yes, uh, last, uh, last October we got the contract for production of two frigates. So we are now in detailed design stage and going to a uh, production uh, design stage. And we will start uh, steel cutting uh, this September. Yes. And delivery of the ship to JMSDF is expected from for, where, for uh, when? Yes, uh, delivery is expected March 20, uh, 2022. Yeah, about uh, three and a half years later. What are the main features of the design? Our main key feature is, uh, you can see uh, this hull structure itself. This is a very low uh, radar cross-section uh, design and also uh, uh, needs uh, some speed, more than 30 knots. So we uh, propose a Kodak system, combined diesel and gas turbine propulsions, uh, one uh, gas turbine and two diesel uh, type. And also uh, our Navy requested us uh, very size of crew, around 90 uh, crew size. So we uh, propose a 360 degree circular CIC, so they can do anything in CIC other than uh, combat management. They can do uh, uh, machinery and electric plant uh, control, damage control, XCOM controls, uh, such on. Uh, to come back to the CIC, what are the main benefits of uh, 360 degrees CIC? Yes, as I said, uh, they can do anything in CIC. So usually they have uh, two or four displays for combat system management. 
but they should do uh, damage control, uh, machinery control, extra control. So we put a, a 360 degree uh, all around view video walls so that uh, they can display anything they want to see. So using uh, cruising, they can use uh, that, uh, you can, they can see uh, outside you know, information. And if uh, damage happens, they can switch to the damage control displays. When uh, under, com uh, under combat operations, they can switch to uh, usual you know, combat system uh, displays. In addition, this ship design is the first major surface combatant that Japan is actively promoting for export.